In this exercise, we will learn how to make counter bore hole in Autodesk Inventor. So this is the simple exercise. Let's start. All dimensions are in millimeter. Material cast steel. Okay. This is isometric view. Now let's check overall length end to end 125 and the corner radius 40. Okay. And the depth or thickness of this you will see here 10 millimeter. Then comes at top. You will see there is one more oblong 77 outer radius 16 millimeter see here and depth from top to bottom c 32 millimeter let's create these two things click new now go to template metric because i want to use millimeter standard ipt part okay now activate click here start 2d sketch now i am going to select xz plane drop down and here i am going to select center slot okay i am not going to draw any dimension right click exit now select dimension now select these two outer points and see now this 125 okay now the radius 40 finish sketch and activate extrude feature now here only one profile so by default it selected profile and plane also selected is starting from where we are going to start our sketch now the next thing is behavior now we have to change direction so this positive direction is perfect the thickness or distance 10 millimeter now output here you can write body name so by default solid one is our body say ok right click uh, click and select create a sketch again activate center slot start from center ok right click exit smart dimension select these two end points vertical length and it is 77 millimeter radius it was 16 millimeter see now simply finish sketch extrude now this time again profile detected by system starting plane we will keep as it is now behavior direction so it is moving in perfect direction so no need to change direction now here thickness you have to change and 32 overall minus 10 because uh, 10 millimeter already added here now first output boolean this is going to add or join not cut say okay look material let me directly choose here a steel cast so that it looks better view before going to use counter bore hole uh, i am going to cut this you will see inside radius 10 millimeter depth 10 millimeter okay i am going to again create a sketch center slot now not this time i am going to choose here slot center to center if i move my cursor you will see the center point Again, move cursor over edge and you will see center point. Right click, OK. Smart dimension. Now, either let's choose radius 10 millimeter. Now, this is fully constrained. Finish sketch. Edit sketch. Now, let me delete these unnecessary lines finish sketch extrude and this time profile detected direction also before going to change direction here one option in output choose cut now see direction automatically change now depth 10 millimeter that's it you don't need to change anything say okay 
now look we have to create this counter bore hole this counter bore diameter outer counter bore diameter 13 and depth of counter bore diameter 2 millimeter and the hole center hole diameter 6 and there is 6 number of hole and what is the location you will see R26 see this arrow it is considered the center point of this oblong then here two holes 10 dia and this is also considered the center point of this upper edge uh, now edit appearance so that it looks more visible is sky blue medium okay this this looks perfect now select this face a sketch activate here uh, i'm going to activate the same slot center slot move cursor this point again move cursor to edge you will find origin point click and drag a smart dimension and these radius 26 millimeter given right click ok now select this oblong and create here for construction now add points i am going to add points one two three four five and six it help us to locate hole okay now finish sketch now activate in 3d model tab modify rule hole now look by default system took the places even if you clear from here input this is uh, asking you if you have saved anything so we can select but we don't save anything so simply keep as it is now position now see simply select the points hold and press shift and mouse middle mouse and rotate now here comes type in type select hole in seat you have to select this second one counter bore hole okay now we have to define many things counter bore diameter 13 depth 2 millimeter now here diameter 6 the whole diameter right now look all the holes you will see the visibility Ter termination throughout because the 6 millimeter hole is going to throughout direction also perfectly going downward direction so we don't need to change anything simply say ok just hold shift key and middle mouse and rotate again activate hole now simply select simple hole here sitting we don't need here select through all simple hole and this diameter 10 now how to press hole now select this face and select this face center or any circular and see this is locate the position again i am going to select one hole here shift rotate and select this circular face and this is took the center of this circular face so this is how we selected position say ok let me see now all activate fillet 1.5 see in selected seat and the, here you have to select add constant radius age because we want all fillets constant 1.5 now let me select edges 1 2 say ok and here we go this is the our simple exercise in autodesk inventor i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in autodesk inventor thanks for watching